So good morning. Um, this presentation is named Census Electronic, the potential and challenges of a multimedia journal of research in education. I'm Maria João Silva, but there are um, six other uh, authors uh, and th this was a collaborative work uh, from people that have been working in this journal. So, uh, Census Electronic is, uh, is an academic uh, open access multimedia journal uh, of research in education. It is hosted in the uh, School of Education, Polytechnic of Porto, uh, in the research uh, center of this school. Uh, the context uh, where this uh, journal appeared is um, a higher education uh, community that is increasingly using uh, contents in an electronic form. This is our context nowadays. And uh, um, where institutional digital repositories and open access journals I have, uh, uh, play, have been playing a more and more important role in making scientific research visible. That, so that was uh, the, the context. Um, this journal uh, aims at publishing new types of scientific papers, multimedia scientific papers, um, which was enabled by uh, digital technologies, of course. Uh, it uses a web to approach uh, to learning and it opens the access and use of content in an open platform for knowledge creation and sharing. So in this journal, um, we aim that multimedia will allow to give voice to educational research participants, not only to the authors, but also to the participants of the research. Um, and this is facilitated by the integration of multisensory, emotional and performative dimensions of scientific communication. Uh, and this is possible uh, using videos, using audio, uh, but all the types of records of what happened with the participants and how they express uh, themselves and perform. Uh, so, uh, the journal is managed by an editorial director, that is myself, and a director, a di director of uh, multimedia production, that is Armand Silva, that is there. <laughs> um, it is implemented using uh, um, a platform WordPress. It publishes papers in electronic uh, format, which are built and edited online. Um, so it is not uh, um, the, the papers are not sent in the, to the uh, to the journal. Uh, they are built in the platform. Um, it uh, it aims at publishing and has been pu publishing research, innovation, and development and intervention works. Not only research, also innovative innovation uh, or development uh, work has been published. Um, but what is more important, it we, we only uh, publish work that is in a. Um, that take advantage of the potential of an online multimedia journal. So all the papers should be multimedia, should have multimedia elements. So it accepts papers in four languages. Um, it allows consulting papers and to search uh, the, the papers using var various items. Um, and uh, the users can have different uh, profiles. Oh, this is the um, a screen of uh, the editor, the interface of papers edition and, and submission. Um, so it is a current uh, interface. So in this study, we aim to identify and understand the potentialities, but also the challenges of the multimedia dimension of this journal. 
So, to export and, uh, and illustrate uh, the added value of a video in a paper, we performed a case study um, that uh, um, analyzes, assess, and illustrate the communication and educational potentials of uh, uh, the journal's multimedia dimension. So, we made a stu uh, st case study that uh, um, was developed with this, our students. Um, so, and we asked them to evaluate, to assess the importance of the video. If it is different, if it has an added value, to have a video in the paper or to have only uh, the text. So, in the analysis of papers, we used the, the pub. Uh, at date, now we have uh, another uh, number already published, but uh, at the date that uh, the, this paper was submitted, um, the, the, the we have three numbers uh, submitted, and the first number has already uh, some papers accepted. So all the papers that was accepted, sub, uh, published or not, were um, were assessed and analyzed. Uh, the criteria of analysis was the scientific domain of the paper, uh, if it has multimedia elements, for instance video images, audio clips, links or other, um, if it has interactivity, uh, the, functions, uh, the functions of uh, images, uh, video, sound, if um, the, an image has a narrative function, an analytic function or a symbolic function, for instance, and the relations between uh, the images of video sound with the text. So we analyzed 22 papers and 12 papers uh, main theme is ICT in education. This is uh, all the numbers uh, of uh, census electronic accept papers from uh, any topic of education. We have thematic numbers, but we also accept, we have some papers with thematics, but we also accept any paper of educational uh, research. But the majority of the papers that were uh, sent were from ICT in education. Uh, Sometimes, uh, of course, ICT in education, uh, in didactics of mathematics, or in mathematics in education, or in didactics of science. So, ICT in education with different focus. Uh, and 10 papers uh, with diverse educational themes, like psychology, educational sciences, special education, multimedia communication, and children's geography, for instance. But uh, really we think that uh, um, the authors that uh, work in ICT in education feels more comfortable to use a platform like uh, the one that is uh, used in this journal. So, um, if we analyze the multimedia elements, we have uh, 11 papers that use video, 17 that use images, one that use audio clips, and 16 that use hyperlinks. And in the other, um, we have five papers that are, uh, are centered on the use of GeoGebra in education. Uh, these, uh, these papers include uh, GeoGebra applets, apps. So, uh, they are really interactive. And these applets are light and, use, uh, and easy to use, and uh, they are really simple to, um, to integrate in the papers. So we have uh, politics that all the authors can, during the process, contact the multimedia director and have uh, his support, and uh, it happens uh, frequently. So the, there are no um, problems if an author cannot uh, be able to, uh, to integrate the app or to, to integrate the video. We give the support to that. We think that this is a, a needed feature of uh, this kind of, um, of journal. Uh, 
So we, here we consider that interactivity um, is present when the reader can control data or events, um, can vary parameter and, uh, and see the impact of this variation on the data in the table. Okay, regarding the functions of the image, videos and sound. Uh, so all the videos, all the 11 videos have a narrative function. It represents facts and processes and uh, the audio too. Uh, the analytic function is, for instance, a formula, a mathematical formula. Um, and there are a lot of uh, papers that use this kind of uh, uh, presentation. Um, using uh, images or video um, and the symbolic one that when you use uh, um, symbolic sy symbols can you use symbols so for instance analytic when you use uh, uh, an organigram or something like that so you you have these three but uh, uh, almost similar the, so all the functions are uh, are used Uh, but most of the papers use video, audio and images to complement the information of the test. The, uh, most of them are to complement. Eight of them are to illustrate what, uh, uh, in a different way, in a different representation, in using multiple representations of the information of the test. But most of them complement. The information that is on the video, it is not in the test. <laughs> okay, I, I will look there because here I, I can't see what is there. Uh, sorry. So, to explore and illustrate uh, the, ad uh, the added value of a video in a paper, uh, we worked with the students and asked them to read uh, the paper without seeing the video, and uh, we added a description of the information of the video. So they read the paper and they, they read the description of the information in the video. And afterwards, they saw the video. And they were, asking, um, and they were asked, uh, what do you think? There is an added value. It is uh, the same thing to have the video or not. What are the differences? And uh, um, they all agree in saying that the video make it, uh, makes it real. So it allowed a clear and more concrete vision of the task that was presented to the students. Um, only the video shows uh, uh, really the, co the, the potential of uh, the computer simulation. And there, are, there were also links uh, to the computer simulations and they really feel, felt that uh, that changes the, the, the communication. Um, so uh, students uh, when said that when they saw the video, they felt that uh, uh, all the doubts that they had before uh, were solved by uh, the video. And they also said that uh, the video um, offers a better understanding of important dimensions of teaching and learning process. Th th that video uh, shows how the di dialogues of teachers and, uh, um, and students while using a computer simulation. So to see the simulation and the dialogues and all the process of teacher mediation um, was very important for these uh, students that are studying studying to be teachers, so this was really important um, to see uh, at the same time, simultaneously, the simulation working and the dialogues. So, something like this, uh, but in a video, of course. So they saw the simulation and the changing of the parameters and uh, the dialogue between teachers and, uh, uh, and children. They also, uh, students also said that uh, um, video allows um, to replicate the work that was done, the research work. When they saw the video, they said, well, I could do this with other students. And uh, th that was uh, very much harder if they don't have the video. This, this is one uh, reason for uh, to use multimedia in research. Uh, 
the, the communication using multimedia facilitates the process of replication of research because there, there is really more uh, um, contextual information that what is happening. Um, so uh, the, uh, the students uh, perceived video as a media element, as a tool. They understood that different media produce different messages, even if the content information is uh, the same. They differentiated the media and the message content. Um, and they considered that uh, what was really important was the teacher mediation, uh, together with computer simulation. Uh, that was the real message and the, uh, of the papers, video and text, and that they complemented uh, each other. So, concluding, uh, we would like to uh, diversify uh, the scientific domains of uh, the papers. Um, for instance, uh, in what concerns arts education and humanities education. We don't, uh, till now, we don't have submissions in, this, in those areas. Um, and at first we thought that, uh, that uh, arts education will be very <laughs> a very promising field in this uh, journal. But till now, I don't know how, maybe because of the kind of interface, uh, the ICT interface, I don't know. Um, till now, or maybe because of the way we are um, communicating our uh, calls. But uh, uh, till now, we don't have uh, so much studies. We don't have any in arts education and we, we have a few in humanities uh, education. So we would also like to, we, we only had one paper with an audio clip, with audio clips. It was a paper about a conference and so there was the test analyzing the communications and there was some clips of the communications of the, uh, the congressists. So the increase of use of audio clips and applets uh, to augment uh, media diversity and to augment interactivity. And uh, um, a wider use of media elements, um, not only to complement the information in the test, but also to illustrate, to, uh, to increase uh, multiple representations.